Hi friends, welcome to Transformation Unlimited YouTube channel. Today I am with Yogi Anish. We are discussing about how to choose a mentor. Uh, how do you find this topic? Uh, please uh, uh, comment in the comment section. And Yogi Anish is a friend of mine. Uh, he is involved with uh, so many activities. Um, uh, so I can call him as a thinker. <laughs> yes, yeah, Yogi Anish. Um, uh, the thing is, uh, who is a good mentor? Well, uh, the appropriate question is, who is a mentor? Okay. <laughs> we all know certain uh, huh. titles like teachers. Uh, yes. We know uh, there are people who are educators, trainers, hmm. and then you have uh, uh, facilitators, coaches. You know, these are all people who are in the field of educating. We all have been educated and we all look for people who can continue to educate us and take on a growth. Okay. When somebody teaches in a school, he is a teacher. The child who comes to a school doesn't know anything whatsoever. So the teacher teaches. The teacher is someone who gives knowledge. Correct. Right? You, <coughs> you, you learn languages, you learn various subjects, mm. you learn to decipher the world around you. Okay. You know, that's what a teacher does. And what about the trainer? A trainer is someone who, mm. in a very informal setting, sometimes a formal setting, okay. helps you mm. to look at what potential you have. Oh, oh and help you realize the potential, use certain tools and techniques to help you grow up in life. Uh, 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 uh. You know, the school okay. gives you a career, okay. but a trainer might help you give you a life. You know, all of us Great. have educational <laughs> qualification. You are a BA, MA, MCOM, MBBS <coughs> doctor and all that. All you are given is enough knowledge to go about in life. Correct. But then, Amongst the people who get educated in schools and colleges, there are many who pick up things which is not taught in schools and colleges. For example, I know that you are a trainer, okay? but we don't have a subject called public speaking in school, nor in college. Correct. But as a trainer, you give your participants or your students an opportunity to improve upon their speaking skills. Yes. See, when you teach public speaking, and I've seen a lot of your students who are wonderful public speakers and amazing computers and anchors, you know, well known of well known uh, some of them, they pick up certain techniques and tools that you teach them, and they go about in life and make a wonderful, you know, a very amazing professional life. Whereas a mentor, I see is a little higher than a teacher and a trainer, sometimes a coach. A mentor is someone, okay. you know, hmm. who by virtue as an example, he exudes everything a mentee looks for. It's not necessarily simply knowledge. It's, it's not a, okay. a mentor is not one who only has knowledge. Uh, I, mean, I may call this as a holistic approach. I think he has, yes, uh, the a person who is a mentor mm. has a bit of everything in him. He is a teacher, he is an educator, <laughs> Correct. he is a trainer, he is a coach, he is a friend. I mean, I can give you uh, the best example of a, a mentor, Tell me. you know, from uh, our history okay. is Krishna, Sri Krishna. <laughs> you know, many of us say Sri Krishna is a guru and Arjuna is a Sishya. But if you look at their personal relationship, they are cousins. They are almost the same age. They come from the same lineage. Whereas, in Mahabharata when you notice, Sri Krishna turns out to be a mentor. He is a friend, he is a guide, he is a philosopher, he is a trainer, he also teaches. He guides. So, for me, a mentor is someone who takes on the role of almost everything, sometimes also as a parent. 
You know, when you look at parents, you have mother and father. The mentor also has qualities of the mother, qualities of the father. <laughs> Great. You know, I uh, think uh, uh, mentor is someone uh, whom is your chosen parent. Yeah, you I can't like choose it. your parent, uh, yeah, but you can choose a, a parent later in life and that's a mentor. Yeah, I like this uh, very much, especially the association with the parents, both uh, uh, father as well as a mother. mother. Uh, right. What is the most important quality mentor should have? I think uh, a mentor is not someone who wants to be a mentor. Okay. So if you are a student, you want to be a teacher mm. because you like teachers influence people. Yeah. Okay. And later in life, they become a teacher or a professor or whatever. Okay. I attended a lot of training programs like you attended a lot of training programs. You get impressed by the way some people train. Yes. And you think that I want to be a trainer. Correct. Now when you are doing comparing on TV shows or when you host an event, you do wonderfully well. So sitting in the audience, I think I want to be like you. Okay. So you tend to be, but then you go about in life, then you say, okay, I want to coach people. I want to, somewhere along the line, some people who have knowledge, who have the skill, who also have the attitude, they suddenly mellow down and are comfortable doing whatever the role that they are asked to do. Mentors don't, don't go about telling people that I have everything, I can guide you, I can be a... I mean, look, Sri Krishna couldn't have gone about telling people that, you know, I want to help you, I want to support you, I want to guide you, I want to give... No, nothing like that happened. It is the disciple who is looking for someone from whom he can become a better person. Yes, exactly. And so, I think mentor is someone who by virtue of being an example is looked up to by other people as worthy of emulating or seek their services. Wow, a wonderful explanation. I, yeah. I like it. So, <laughs> so I think uh, yeah. mentor happens, you know, and uh, when someone starts guiding one person, a couple of them, a third, and slowly they grow up in life. And a mentor is someone who also influences not just one aspect of somebody's life. They impact the overall aspects of their life, Correct. which is very visible to the others. And then people start looking for such mentors and then they seek the support and say, can you also be a mentor? Uh, normally, uh, the influence is very high in the case of mentorship. What's your opinion? Correct. You see, what happens is someone, I mean, mentor is someone in our Sanskriti, hmm. you know, as a very special place, yes. you know. And uh, this uh, Indian civilization or Bharatiya civilization, it has existed so many thousands of years, I think is by virtue of mentorship. Correct. Okay. But there we normally call it as a guru. Guru. So, I think the, uh, the nearest uh, equivalent for mentor in Sanskrit is Guru. Great. And what does a Guru do? A Guru is one who shows the light. Correct. Not necessarily who takes you and says, you know, you follow me. Uh, mentor is the one who shows the path. Sometimes he might not even show the path. Okay. Uh, he will just... Uh, uh, he might... Uh, where, where darkness is in your life, okay. he will throw light. So that you know Where what which was earlier dark <laughs> is visible to you. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, should the mentor give all the answers to your questions? A very nice uh, uh, question. Will the mentor answer all your questions? <laughs> wow. <laughs> In a school setting or a college setting, okay. the teacher knows yeah. the answers to all the questions that are within the syllabus. Yes, but here there is no syllabus. But you cannot ask a question out of the syllabus to a teacher. <laughs> the teacher will say, sorry, it is out of syllabus and he will not answer you. Yes. Right. A trainer with a limited scope of personal growth mm. would be able to answer based on his experience. Whereas a mentor, the guru, will never answer your question. Okay. The guru will ask you mm. 
to question yourself from where you are asking the question why you are asking the question what is the basis of your question that means facilitating the uh, question uh, properly to get the answer who gets the answer you get the answer yes sometimes the mentor will show you a mirror mm. so that you can see yourself mm -hmm. and help you see yourself completely mm. normally you look at a mirror and you see yourself yes every time you see yourself you go on the same habit yeah of complaining or brooding or worrying you know when you see your own image correct but the mentor when he shows the mirror mm. he will ask you to look at yourself a different way and he normally doesn't take you guide you show the path he will say what is that you are asking what do you want okay okay, okay. in the process there will be a lot of clarity helps you get a lot of clarity mm -hmm. when you get clarity there is so much of power okay okay so here one more question is uh, arising should the mentor solve all of our problems yeah i wish uh, you know all the mentees <laughs> <laughs> you have a problem go to a mentor and say sir i have a problem please solve the problem <laughs> i think mentor is someone uh. who will first ask you okay and make you realize okay what is your problem what mm. is the situation in which the problem has happened okay why did ha it happen mm. and what do you think are the solution who is going who is supposed to solve the problem the person who is having a problem the person who is facing a challenge okay he needs to know the solution so uh, once again mm. he is not a teacher who will take you along okay. he will help you realize for example in the example of krishna mm. what happened in kurukshetra shri krishna took him and made him stand in front of the opponent kauravas and what happened to shri krishna uh, arjuna. Uh, arjuna arjuna developed cold feet he was nervous and a lot of thoughts that he shouldn't be thinking in the battle field he started thinking my cousins are there my cousins you know he he talked about all the doomsday all yeah, right yeah, yeah. and what did shri krishna hmm. do he did not tell him what you are doing is wrong don't do it just follow me believe me i will no he didn't do all that he held a mirror for him to see himself so what he did in kurukshetra we don't know but we have expanded it into 18 chapters uh, but yes, bhagavad gita but what i think shri krishna did hmm. was to tell him i am your friend i am your guide ask the right question mm. so that you get the right answer sometimes we ask the wrong question when you ask the wrong question you will still get an answer based on the answer you will take action but you go into the wrong direction but if you ask the right question the appropriate question sometimes the most effective question you will get the effective answers yes uh, dear viewers please ask the right question we are here to answer your queries even for this video <laughs> okay uh, uh, do you think uh, mentors should provide uh, resources to mentees yes mentors have access to a lot of resources because by virtue of their education okay. by virtue of their experience by virtue of mentoring other people hmm. they have an access to a lot of resources resources includes both goods and services they also have connection they also have influence okay but then a mentee should not always go to a mentor for resources okay you should always go to a mentor for his innate ability to show you the way yourself so that you can find the way yourself exactly you know? sometimes they can help but very often you know in today's world people go to a mentor seeking because they are either wealthy they have lot of influence they have lot of net worth sometimes they have lot of net worth you know and <laughs> they want to use that uh, you know benefit yeah but then you know, why is are those mentees who go to a mentor to seek what that is what that is precious which is their wisdom yes uh, that word was uh, 
ringing in my mind also uh, that wisdom is uh, very very powerful Correct. how to recognize a mentor well uh, it is uh, sometimes easy sometimes difficult but then you should want to have a mentor imagine that you don't want a mentor you never thought what a mentor is mm. you know you don't want a guru okay when you don't want a guru you go about in life acting that you know everything yes but there are some people who have reached a stage where they think correct that i need a someone who can guide me who can be my friend who can help me i want a guru mm -hmm. chances are just by wanting to have a guru just the urge of having a guru mm. guru might appear sometimes there are we have lot of gurus around us okay you would be able to recognize them because you want to have a guru and a guru in your particular chosen field or maybe generally a, a mentor who can guide you in all aspects of your life sometimes you want a guru to guide you in one particular aspect of life let us say mm -hmm. you start you have a startup and you want to make it big you know then you will go in that field uh, in which uh, the, in that field of enterprise but let's say you want to improve in all aspects of your life you want to improve your family life you want to improve your social life you want to improve your professional life then you will go to a um, somebody who has an expertise in the general aspects of mentoring okay okay and which i know you are in the general aspects of mentoring you don't choose one specific Correct. you help people to improve on the speaking abilities communication leadership parenting family you know whatever you choose yes. and so there are uh, people who mentor in a very general aspects yes. and i'm sure there are people you only have to ask the question yes. do i want a mentor yeah. and when you say i want a mentor mentors are available around you yeah you have already spoke about guru but still uh, i want you to uh, enlighten uh, the guru as well as the mentor i want more guidance see uh, i work in the education sector okay and what i have realized is hmm. many years back we looked up to our teachers as mentors hmm. our teachers as gurus fine but now teachers and educators they have they're doing what they are doing as a vocation or as a profession correct and so they are only limited to only certain aspects of the framework teaching. of syllabus teaching yes within the syllabus and sometimes within the syllabus and all they need to do is what percentage of my students score or mm. pass or have distinction okay okay they are not looking at the future so their goal is defined their their goal is limited 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 a guru's goal mm. is not limited only for the next 5 years 10 years or 15 years guru is saying what will my disciple or my ward or my okay. mentee okay. or my protege will do in his life okay. and how much will he contribute so to the so this is a larger normal. frame uh, larger network absolutely A guru is someone who is not only interested in you and what you do you to your family a guru is looking at how much of a potential you have to make the difference in the society okay so the same role mentor is uh, taking up uh, in this current uh, scenario correct so for me i think it is equivalent of mentor or a guru mm -hmm. so when you say in our colloquial uh, indian language you say guru yeah. and uh, if you want to speak english then you say mentor mm -hmm. sometimes i wonder why is it only m e n t o r <laughs> you know you should be w o m e n t o r also <laughs> women also can become mentors uh, you know and so i think there are a lot i also remember uh, uh, the example of uh, uh, the richest man in the world mm -hmm. is uh, microsoft mm. uh, what's his name bill clinton i'm sorry bill gates bill, bill gates i'm sorry uh, okay bill gates is supposed to be the richest person in the world correct okay. once upon a time i don't uh, know uh, what uh, it matters it now. varies uh, yeah at suddenly at some point of time mm. he wanted to do a lot of charity okay so he got into a lot of social development and he's almost dedicated 50 60% of his wealth for social for charity and there was a second richest person warren buffett he suddenly i mean he is elder to bill gates but warren buffett is the second richest and he 
got inspired by Bill Gates and said, now I want to also give away all my wealth mm -hmm. to charity. <laughs> and where did he go? He went to Bill Gates ah. and said, mm. you tell me how I should wow. do charity. Wow, great. Now just imagine, yes. for somebody who is younger ah. to mentor Warren Buffett to do charity. So, that means he is proficient in that. In that. So, Bill Gates was into charity. So, age doesn't matter. Age here. doesn't matter. Your wealth doesn't matter. Sometimes you learn from younger people. Yes. Today, I don't know much about uh, uh, computers and uh, <laughs> technology and all that. Uh -huh. Maybe I need a mentor in that field who is younger to me. Correct. Isn't it? You look at uh, the, the world of sports. Yes. I mean, recent example. Hmm. The youngest ever. Hmm. Chess champion from India who is going to the candidate tournament. He is a 17 year old Gukesh. And everyone was talking about mm. Pragnananda being the best in the country today. Mm -hmm. Okay, Both Gukesh and Pragnananda was mentored by our own darling Vishwanathan Anand. Okay? So both of them are amazing prodigies. Okay? Vishwanathan Anand doesn't go about telling the whole world that I mentored them. He treats them as his equal. But the two of them, Gukesh and uh, Pragnananda, treat him as their guru. You know? So there is no formal relationship when a mentor goes about telling that I mentored so and so, so and so. And there are not many people who go about saying that he is my mentor. It is a very uh, intimate relationship between two people helping mm. each other. Uh, the cordial relationship it or is, an informal it's an amazing uh, relationship which uh, cannot be you know properly. formalized and you know you can put down and say that yeah in yeah, fact but, uh, anish i i have experience through mentoring uh, i learned so many things from my mentees also correct so it is like a mutual exchange of so absolutely. many absolutely. issues absolutely uh, so that, that's the greatest advantage of yeah, uh, yeah. mentoring uh, so, I think uh, everyone has understood about the value, the importance of uh, mentoring. Uh, so, what's your uh, feeling? Please document through few JP, words. Uh, I know that uh, you are involved in this field yeah. and you've been involved in this field for many, many years. Yeah. And now you've taken up mentoring also. Yes. Uh, you're busy, I know that you're busy in mentoring. But you still have scope for people to reach out? Uh, yeah, only for few people yeah. uh, because it's a time constraint. And I am doing one-to-one -one mentoring also mm -hmm. through Zoom as well as uh, at my office. Oh, I see. Uh, I have allocated my time and I will plan my timings and I will give those timings and it's happening in a big way. Very nice. Yeah, you are helping people yes. to scale up, to do bigger things in life, to reach their potential. Correct. I think the value of, and I want to see a country in which the value of the gurus in the country go up. Yes. No, we I, need to create I, a lot I of want gurus. one lakh people like me. <laughs> <laughs> not enough, I think. Not, not enough. Not no, enough. at least uh, in the few, uh, near future. Yeah. Uh, that's why I am guiding through uh, YouTube channels True. and I am utilizing social media. Uh, at least let people know about True. the mentorship. True. Uh, so at, then they will look for the mentor. No, we have to create an environment in which uh, the atmosphere, yeah. uh, teachers and educators, they graduate to become gurus. And of course, um, even I am very happy that you are doing Guru Praskar. Uh, say something about Guru Puraskar also, let our uh, viewers enlighten oh, yeah. about that. Guru Puraskar uh, is a platform where we want educators to grow up to become mentors and gurus so that hundreds and thousands of uh, students around them, they look up to and emulate them and become better citizens of the country. And I, I believe uh, uh, teachers and uh, uh, educators across the country uh, they have the potential to contribute much more than they contribute. And we have created a platform where educators can come in and use the platform uh, to participate in an event called Guru Puraskar, which is an awards program for the best teachers. We select some teachers and send them on visit uh, outside the country, an educational trip and inspire others. Okay. It's a very and humble. That, and that's a great job you are doing. I want to appreciate. So I want all of uh, viewers to visit www.gurupuraskar.com. And if you want to contact me, I'll give my office numbers 9341259267 and 9620303000. Anish, thank you very much. Thank you. All thank the you. best. Thank you.